Welcome back to eCarC everyone. My name is Eric and today we have a quick video. We're just going to talk about buying RC cars from Bayi. Eek. Now I know Keith from RC Icons has gone over this before and I believe Adam from Adam's Playground. I think he just picked up a couple from Bayi also. So I just want to tell everyone my experience with buying from Bayi. Basically, it's just like any other auction like eBay. And I won the auction and literally about seven business days later, I had the package. I would not hesitate at all to buy from Bayi. I'm going to show you exactly how they pack it up. So this is the package. Nice box, nice and thick. And I know my lighting is not very good here. Let me see if I can turn the box. So look at how good this is packed up. Okay, so we have all this packing material here and you're gonna see what I bought and you can see it through here. Everything on the sides, they're all protected. Very well packaged. They really take time and care in what they're doing because I think they know that if you're buying from Bayi, they want you to continue buying, especially if you're getting something from overseas. So what did I buy? Well, you can see through here, I bought a Madcap, another one. Now, the reason why I bought a Madcap, and I'll show you in a second. Hold on, let me get rid of this box quick. Okay, so I'm not sure if I can do this with one hand, but this is the reason why I bought another Madcap because I do not have an original box. And this box is in very, very good condition. Let me put it up like this. It's got some marks on it and a little bit of aging, but it doesn't smell. There's no stains on it. Oh, well, there's a couple. I could probably get those out. All well, the box art looks nice. It's not really faded that bad. And on top of that, well, here on the side here, I'm working on them. But the man cap that I bought actually came with vintage high cap shocks installed. You know, the ones with the actual flat springs. These are fantastic shocks. Not as good as the version two. This is the original version one high caps, but these are great shocks. And this was an option for the Astute, the Mad Cap, the St. Dragon. So it's a vintage period correct hop up that I'm going to put on my modified madcap. I got the box. I did get a madcap. It's not perfect. It's okay. It's missing some parts, but it did have the high caps. The high caps alone are worth more than what I paid for everything. So I'm going to keep the high caps. I'm gonna keep the box. It did come with in original instructions. Hold on, let me get those. Okay, so we've used the original manual and it is in amazing condition. Here, let me get the box out of the way. Sorry guys, I know I keep moving around. I'm not on a tripod right now. But look at the condition of this. It looks like whoever built this, built it once, put these aside, nice and neat, back in the box. Like it's not even really yellowed. Very nice. It's not scribbled in. Look at that. Oh, some of the corners are bent in, but that's not bad. Cause I do have another version of this, but it's really like destroyed. This one is in amazing condition. So to go with my all original Madcap, I now have a really nice copy of the instructions I have a decent box. I wouldn't say it's mint. I'd say it's, um, I'd give it maybe a seven out of 10, eight out of 10. And I have some high cap shocks to put on my modified mad cap. I might as well just show you the mad cap I got, hold on. Okay, so this is the actual mad cap that I did get. I am gonna sell this probably because I don't need another mad cap. The ball diff feels really good. It's got a silver can uh, motor in it. It looks like a modern silver can. It doesn't have the original speed control. I mean, it's missing some stickers obviously. Decent paint job. This is the original body. Uh, I don't really have it on. Original body, original wing. Anyway, like I said, do not hesitate to buy from Bayi. It was a very good experience for me. The shipping cost, it was like $80. 
but you don't have to go with the more expensive shipping. I went with the more expensive shipping because I wanted to make sure it got here in one piece. Um, would I recommend it? Yes, I would. I got this at such a good deal, at such a good price, it made sense for me to just spend the extra money. I mean, if I'm shipping something from California to here in New York, it's gonna be like $30 to ship it anyway. So spend an extra $40, $50 from overseas, it's, that's really reasonable. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and give me a like if you can. I appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next video.